it's easy if you it doesn't cool down as yet still hot but if you're simple the simple remove it from like this and make it cool down far away from chef ricotta see you next time in the kitchen with more recipes I'm telling you ah this is because of ideas will be coming from chef ricotta the team so yeah look at that guys Amazing. Welcome back in the kitchen again with Chef Ricotta cooking show guys amazing to be in the kitchen giving you your favorite recipes Anyway, I'm gonna simply give you guys a nice lovely banana cake. It's gonna be amazing Simple recipe to make your family can make this at home. You know, what I mean, it's just amazing the flavor on the taste and the texture to it You guys definitely gonna love this one. So tune in with Chef Ricotta. Don't go anywhere watch this video And please subscribe to the YouTube channel leave a comment in the description box Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. All right, what I said don't go anywhere and watch this beautiful recipe from Chef Ricotta today. Banana cake from recipe from Chef Ricotta. Easy one. I did a sponge cake the other day and I'm going to be giving it another recipe update towards this one, guys. So stay tuned with Chef Ricotta. Stay tuned. Okay, what I'm going to do is to show you guys exactly what I have. I have 8 ounces of unsalted butter right here. Alright? I'm going to pop that straight inside of my container. Now, I'm going to give it some sugar, which is going to be 6 ounces of sugar. I'm using granulated sugar, you can use brown sugar if you like to, but I'm using some granulated sugar. Alright, both of them must be room temperature. So what you can do is take out the butter from early and make it room temperature or you can just simply microwave it in the put it in a microwave for 10 15 15 seconds and get it butter a little bit melt. Alright so I'm gonna just melt my butter for about 10 seconds 5 to 3 seconds alright so I'm gonna cream both of them now so it's easy if you want to do your butter this way is a little bit more easier. So you just simple. Cream the egg. Nice one, look at that. Beautiful and nice. Next we're going to put another egg. Alright, nice one. So we're using three medium sized egg, which is another egg I'm gonna make three medium size egg nice and lovely so now what we're going to do is get some ripe banana i got three fingers of ripe banana which i want to show you make sure you get some double ripe banana guys honestly you know what i mean break them off and uh, simple put them inside of the bowl just like this it's gonna be an easy recipe for you to make at home nothing too complicated all right especially if you're using some double ripe banana it's even better for you to use all right so three medium size banana get yourself a fork and a simple mash mash you know what i mean just mash them like this simple recipe you know what i mean and i'm not giving you a recipe which it's gonna be like complicated so you just want to just simple mash your banana like this gonna be um, amazing 
バナナケーキさあ、in the meantime、preheat the oven。if you're using electric oven like what I'm using、put it at 165。If you're using gas, put your gas mark 5 or 6. All right? If you're using a different oven, 365, 350 degrees Celsius is good for you. All right? So that's what you want to do. You want to mash your banana like this. Once you mash your banana, simple, just add it to your mixture like that. Nice one. And that's simple. Give it a lovely mix. All right, that's look amazing, guys. Honestly, it's fantastic, lovely, and nice. So that's exactly. What you want to do? Look at that, beautiful. Now, what we're gonna do next? I'm gonna be using some self-rising flour. And I'm gonna be using eight ounces of self-rising flour. Nice one. So put this one side. And now, with the self-rising flour, I'm gonna be using some baking soda. Remember, baking soda is different from baking powder. All right, so that's why I'm using self-rising flour. So basically, I'm gonna be using quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And also, mixed spice, I'm gonna put roughly about half teaspoon of mixed spice. Half teaspoon of cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. So what you want to do? You want to do simple. Give this a lovely mix. If you have some mixed spice, some、um, vanilla, please use some vanilla inside of it. So that's gonna bring in a lovely flavor to it. All right. Or if you have some cinnamon, um, not cinnamon, um. So I'm not the egg. Keep mixing them up all the time. Now let's put that one side. This is our mixture. So what we want to do? We want to put at least vanilla, a teaspoon of vanilla essence inside of it, and give it a whisk. Now what we're going to do? Now we're going to put a roughly about quarter of the flour. Quarter of the flour. Then the rest of a quarter of the flour. So all the ingredients will be inside of it now. Beautiful. Look at that. Another amazing. Let's give it a lovely mix. This one, you can make it at home with the family. Look at that. 
So that's exactly what you are looking for. All right. Especially if you have a good um, mixer, you can use. But I'm just using my whisk. Now let's get our baking tray. You can use a long bread tray, or you can use a round one like this. This is at eight inches, and I'm gonna simply use some. This is just some um, light spray oil I'm using inside of it. I'll cut out a piece of a greaseproof paper to put it in the bottom of it. That's it can just sit down inside, all right? So as I said, this is an eight inch baking tray, which you guys definitely can use at home, all right? Now, let's go into business and let's bake this cake. All right, as I said, preheat the oven. This one, the main important thing. Once you, you put in your mixture like that guys, you know what you need to do? You need to simple, give it a lovely shake like this. And then, so that means your cake cannot split, all right? Any cake you're baking, always do that. That's secret from Chef Ricardo. Now, what I'm going to do, as I said, this is gonna take roughly about 35 minutes, the least, in your oven. Put it in the big of the oven, and secondly, Remember, preheat the oven first. Once you preheat the oven, the recipe will be on Chef Ricardo. You can follow me on Instagram where I most post some of my recipe. Our uh, recipe may in the description box. But anyway, as I said, 35 minutes it will take. Bake it for 30 minutes, give it another five minutes when you check it. And secondly, what I'm going to do now is put it in my oven. And as I said, preheat the oven first. Do not turn up your oven. Always cook on a medium size heat. I tell, uh, tell you guys all the time. Secondly, I'm using electric, which is I have it on 165 at the moment. If you're using gas, please want six or seven. If you're using any kind of oven, 350 Fahrenheit Celsius is very good for it, for this cake. For 25 to 30, 35 minutes, the least in your oven. If not, we're gonna check it and we go through step by step here yeah, guys so that's the first level you need to have remember three fingers of ripe banana double ripe banana we got all of the spices we got sugar butter egg self rising flour and baking soda enjoy this beautiful recipe Nice, I love the guys. So basically, as you can see for yourself, look at that. Beautiful and nice. So just take the cake and I want a simple. All right, so once I take this, you see all that dry? That's what you want to see. You want to again, simple push down your knife or you can use a toothpick and just push it down inside of it. And banana cake with custard. All right, so what we're going to do, it doesn't cool on as yet, still hot, but if you're simple, Just simply remove it from like this and make it cool down for a bit. All right, guys, look at that amazing. That's exactly what I'm talking about when I said let's bake a banana cake. Simple recipe and easy to make at home. Stay tuned with Chef Ricardo. Let's serve it up. Simple cut some cake out. All right, oh, using the wrong knife. It need to cool them to be honest with them as cool up but we're just gonna simply show you so look at that that is amazing look at that beautiful cake look at the cake guys it's fantastic all right now let's put this to one side so i'm gonna shear up that beautiful cake with some custard and all these things so easy all right that's not only that the simple Jack that beautiful cake down into the custard like that. All right. 
Sometimes I see Chef Ricardo posing all different kind of recipes. They must say, I wonder, what's going on with Chef Ricardo? But I'm telling you. Ah, this is Costa. Mm. That is amazing. Beautiful. Look at that. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo show. Got a lot more recipes, a lot more ideas. Would be coming from Chef Ricardo and the team. So yeah, look at that guys. Amazing.